Thunder Horse Descendant. I am back with another Missing Link project. This is our book that we have been working with. Um, the description of the book can be found uh, down in the description along with a link if you wanted to follow us uh, along with us on Amazon. But you don't have to because I show you the book anyways. But here is what we are making today. The little light bulb links. I think that's what they're called. Light bulbs. And so let's get on down to the mat and see what we can come up with. If you've been following along for any length of time, you know that I'm doing these pretty much for the first time on camera so that we can all learn together. It's always good to have um, new tools for our toolbox. And so that's what we've pretty much been doing. So I'm excited to uh, see what all we need for this one. Now they say this is an easy project. <laughs> We shall see. <laughs> Let's flip down to the mat and get going on it. All right, guys, here we are down on my mat. Um, this says that we are going to be needing materials, five and a half inches of 16 gauge sterling silver dead soft wire. So I don't have sterling silver wire, but what I do have is I have some 16 gauge beetle on wire. Shout out to beetle on for sending wire so we can continue to do, um, do our videos in this book so I got that it says we are going to need a chain nose plier chain nose a flat nose plier that's this guy mm, a bale making plier with six millimeter I believe that's this guy you can see him here this is like a bigger one um, I believe that's this guy sharpie flush cutter okay also additional things it says steel wool and a rotary tumbler if you wanted to patina your links afterwards um, I don't have a rotary tumbler or anything so I'm just going to just make them as is and those are all of the tools that we are going to need to make this I get that out of my way so here's a little in-depth picture we'll see if we can get that going on over here is the instructions it says in no time at all you can create custom chains for your jewelry designs the simple loop on the light bulb link opens and closes like a jump ring so connecting these links in a snap okay figure one grasp the tip of the wire in the bail forming plier and coil um and around the six millimeter barrel of the a full four turns remove the wire all right y'all this is what they got looks like we're wrapping it around the smaller side of the of the bail making plier it's this guy okay the small side and insert one jaw the flat nose pliers under the first coil with the flat edge lined up with the cut the end the cut end of the coil lift half the coil up so that it is perpendicular to the remaining coils okay so let me get this make the light bulb part and trim it all right y'all let's see if we can do it I'm gonna get this uh, wire I got 16 gauge I just wrote on there because I didn't want to forget what gauge I got and it says we need five and a half inches of this so I'm going to measure it out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Five and a half inches. Got it. Check. Okay. Grasp the tip of the wire in the bail forming plier and coil. See page 24 on coiling. It's about the six millimeter barrel for full turns. Remove the wire. All right. So that is this guy. So this guy has a big side and a small side. So it looks like they're wrapping around the small side. And it looks like they're working up, you know. So we're going to start kind of in. No, oh, I'm going to turn it this way. So I got the big side on the top. Okay. All right. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to wrap around 
One. I'm counting this as how I'm counting my coils. So when that gets back up to the top, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. I think that is correct. This is what I have. So I've got one, two, three, four. I think that is correct. Remove it from the bail making plier. Move on to step two. Insert one jaw of the flat nose pliers under the first coil with the flat edge lined up with the cut end of the coil. Let's just get down there. Look at the belt -o. Okay, so this looks correct. I can see their tail right here. Maybe I should go one more little half a turn. Because I can see that's their coil. There's my coil. This is coming down. Okay. Insert one jaw of the flat nose. Under the first coil, with the flat edge lined up with the cut end of the coil. The cut end. Okay, so... Okay. Okay, so I think what they're saying is, so we're going to hold it like this. So we got our tail of our top of our spring facing this way. And this facing this way. So that when I turn this... This is going to make like a loop, right, on this side. So let's see if I can get it in there. And so they're saying when I, where I bend it, I believe, where I bend it, it should line up with this side that's coming out. So I think that if I bent it right here up, I think I might have done it a little too far over. But that's okay because I think I can maneuver it a little bit. But I got the I got the top. Lift half the coil up so it is perpendicular to the remaining coils. Okay, so I feel like I did it. This is what I got. I feel like this could be a little flatter, maybe. All right. Okay. Now what? Okay. Moving on to number three. On the opposite end of the coil, hold the flat nose plier perpendicular to the coils. Grasp the tail wire and bend it up 90 degrees. Adjust the tail wire so that it is perpendicular to half of the coil. So that's what we did. That must be like what we did because I did that. Bend it 90 degrees. So, okay. In figure two, they were just telling you where to grab it. And then, but I just bent it. That was also part of figure three. Okay. So we're actually on uh, number four. Okay. Measure half an inch from the coil on the tail wire and mark it with the Sharpie. Okay. Where's my... Sharpie. Here's my Sharpie. Uh, where'd my clear ruler go? Hmm. Questions. It's clear and I can't find it. Oh, here it is. Okay. Half an inch, they said. All right. So... Half an inch. Measure half an inch from the coil. Okay, from the coil. So this is the coil. And mark it right here. Half an inch. Okay. So that's what I got. 
So they're saying from the coil. So start here with your half an inch to my understanding. On the tail, mark it with a Sharpie. Bend the wire at the mark around the six millimeter barrel of the bale forming plier. So that's the smaller one. Okay, bend it right there at the mark. So I'm putting my mark in the middle of the plier. I think Okay, hold on. Something is awry. Something is awry here. Okay, I see where I messed up. So I thought we got to back up. Okay, in figure three, on the opposite end of the coil, hold the flat nose plier perpendicular to the coil, grasp the tail wire, bend it up 90 degrees. So I thought I had done that per the picture, but I was supposed to bend this 90 degrees, this tail wire, but now that I've already bent it, I don't know if I can, I gotta bend it up. Okay, hold on. some rough Ooh, there we go okay so don't mind this this was supposed to be like this before i bent that <laughs> but i think that we could still salvage it i think it's still salvageable except for then i i went and bent it the wrong way but you know things and stuff okay so let me just spin it can i spin it without bending everything out of whack here maybe a little bit it's a little rough looking but okay all right now i think we're back on track trim the tail wire with the flush cutters so that it overlaps the top coil slightly tuck the end of the tail into the inside of the coil with the flat nose player mm -hmm. okay so it overlaps i'm gonna bend this in overlaps a little bit slightly okay cut it off and then use flat nose plier to tuck it in there I might have to cut a little more just just a little bit okay so then tuck it up and in like so. Is that right? Oxidize the link. Okay. So, I think that I would be in better shape if I try again to make it, because I forgot to bend that little piece. But, I mean, for the most part, I think I'm doing okay. I think I'm doing okay. Let's try one more time. So, that's what that one looks like. So let's go one more time. It's kind of fun. I kind of like this one. Okay, so I'm gonna get five and a half inches. Okay. All right, I got that. So, okay. Bail make and plier. Check. I'm going to put it in the middle. So I'm wrapping around the small one. I'm going to go four times. Working up towards the top of my plier. So there is one. Ooh. Two. Three, four. So my tail is here, and this is here, like so. Okay. Then I'm going to. 
go to the top and I'm going to stick whoop, let me get you down there so you can see I'm going to stick my flat nose in here and bend it over pulling it away from the coil and then basically standing it up like this Okay. All right. Now here's where I messed up last time. Um, on the opposite end of the coil, hold the flat nose pliers perpendicular to the coils. It's right here. Grasp the tail wire, bend it up 90 degrees. Adjust the tail wire so that it is perpendicular to the half coil. Okay, so this is where I screwed up last time. So we got to flip it over once we got our loop. We flip it over and then right here. I wonder. Let me look at this. Okay, so they have their loop. Should be this part. Laying this way. And then they have their tail coming out this way. So yeah, so I should be able to bend it right here so that it'll look the same. Okay. Double checking. I have never done this either. So, okay. So I hold that and then I should be able to bend this 90 degrees so it'll be going towards me or up. Okay. So that it makes that little notch right there. Okay. And then now that we got that. Make sure it's all the way up there. So when I'm looking at it this way. Hold that. Got it going like this. I think I got to look. Okay. Okay. And then we measure it. Right. Measure half an inch from the coil on the tail and mark it with the sharpie okay so not including the coil half an inch about right here uh -huh. oh and now that i'm looking let me see right here you can see their mark that's their mark of their sharpie right there so they got it in there all right, so we're using the bail maker, and it says, mark with the Sharpie, bend the wire at the mark around the six millimeter barrel of the bail forming pliers, trim the tail at the, with the flush cutter. Okay, so now, and I'm holding it like this, and I put that in there. and fold it over am i not doing that correctly no i think i am i think i am i don't i don't know what happened here what happened something has happened maybe not maybe it just looks weird okay Let's see if we can't figure it out I think oh, I made it too small. Okay, so this one is a little worse for wear than the other one. I mean, I got to kind of straighten it out and stuff, but I get it. I just got to, I think this one needs a little bit of practice. Just got to straighten it out a little bit. Okay. And then I guess we would just buff that out with our sunshine cloth or something. The little mark. But you can see... 
So on this one, I think I was doing better because see, I made it longer because I it was where I bent when I did the roll, I think. Um, and this one, not as much. So I think I would have to, I think I would have to just do a little practice on this. But let's see if we can link them together, even though, you know, one is wonky. I mean, I don't expect them to be perfect the first time. So this looks like, okay, so you untuck this one and you tuck it into the bottom of the other one. Like a jump ring, I said. You guys, regardless of them being, you know, different sizes, they're super cute. <laughs> I like it. I think I can make a chain out of this. Or, okay, let me read the last thing. Get on there. You. Okay, it says, <clears throat> excuse me, tuck the end of the tail wire into the inside of the coil on the with the flat nose pliers, which we did. Number six, oxidize the link with liver of sulfur and buff the excess oxidation off with steel wool, tumble to work harden and polish. Okay, so we don't have a tumbler, but I think if you wanted to give them a little, like once you got them all the shape you wanted and you got, you know, used your polishing cloth to get the Sharpie off of there, you could, I think, go in with the, just do a little work harden with like this with the, uh, with the hammer. If you wanted to just to give them a little something but they are cute i have to say i need a little practice but don't we all <laughs> i am pretty impressed with that nice all right you guys well i hope that you are enjoying uh enjoying this series regardless of whether sometimes it works out sometimes it doesn't i am really having a wonderful time uh at least getting an idea i have to say that i have built up a little more confidence as far as like doing some wire work learning some new skills so i'm pretty happy with it even though they're not you know perfect but super good i could do a whole little bracelet or part of a necklace chain that would look cute um especially for maybe like an, a more organic looking or maybe you know something something to that effect. So I'm super excited about it. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, spectacular, amazing day and a beating day. And I'm sending all the wonderful beating vibes and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.